bought this thing a few months ago. Everything's been good so far, but we just recently noticed that uh, at our first oil change, the valve covers seem to be having a pretty good leak. So today, I'm going to get the everything off here, replace the valve covers. So yeah, I'm going to start taking this stuff off here and getting some stuff replaced. I already got the the gaskets I got them for the intake and the valves well valve covers so I believe there's a, a throttle body gasket in there too I could be wrong but I'll have to look alrighty I actually got the garage kind of cleaned out and got this sucker in here for the most part but I don't have a cameraman uh, I might get some help later uh, I asked Trevor if he'd come over and assist but no big deal if he doesn't um yeah uh I'm going to get on this thing. I'm going to record bits and pieces of it, not the whole thing. If you guys need uh, more details about this, if you need some assistance, if you're having the same issue and you're trying to replace some gaskets or something, feel free to ask me. I am more than willing to answer any questions I can help you with. Um, yeah, I'm going to start taking this apart. Pictures at a time. I just want to make sure I don't, uh, I want to keep track of everything. And it looks like this thing's not even on there anyways. But yeah, let's get on this thing. Alrighty, so I got gaskets for this this stuff up here too. I believe there's even a new gasket for that. And it looks pretty nasty in here, so I'm going to start cleaning stuff off. I'm going to get the air compressor out. I got some uh, parts cleaner, just so we don't get anything inside it. I want to make sure it's good. Mom, but can I help you spray it with the... Uh, the parts cleaner? Well, yeah, you can probably do the air compressor a little bit for me, for sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're going to get started on this. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, we'll catch up in a bit. And I'm just going to go through the stages and try and get it done. Because it's actually leaking from back in here really bad. And I don't know if you can see in the driveway, but let me show you. Here, watch that, bud. But, yeah, we recently just had the driveway pressure washed. So, yeah. As you can tell... We have a significant leak. When Trevor did our oil change, he, he's like, yeah. And he traced it down to the valve covers. So yeah, I'm gonna get that done. And we'll see you in a bit. This thing is disgusting. I thought this was a intake passage for a second, but I guess it's an oil passage. Mm, I think this is the intake passage for sure. It's cruddy. Man, this thing is going to get some cleaning. But I already ran into an issue. I'm not exactly sure. But this, I believe this is the gasket that was supposed to go here. Does not look the same. The holes are all the same. But this one kind of sits in the groove. This one looks like it sits above the groove a little bit. I don't know. So my nephew's coming over, the guy that hooked me up with the parts and or the, the gaskets and stuff. So we might end up exchanging these if they're wrong. If not, um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it just sits in there differently. I don't know. But this one, it obviously is a little bit different there. Um, these, I don't know. Is it? I'm not even sure what this is. I mean, it's for the right size. Hmm. Manifold set. This, this, what, this is what I really just needed. But you have to take so much off just to get to that. But, you know, one of those things. So I'm going to continue on with this. And once I determine everything about the gaskets... This thing's gonna get some cleaning. I'm just doing a little bit of taking a little bit of stuff off here and there. So we'll catch up with you guys in a bit. We'll get the Honda Odyssey cleaned up a little bit and stop leaking its fluids. Because it was doing really good for a while. But damn. What if this is just from lack of oil changes? 
So nasty. Look at that. But yeah, all right. When it's yeah, when it comes time, that thing is going to get cleaned up good. As long as I have the gaskets, I'm gonna do a try and make it thorough. Okay, so a little update. Um, this one was incorrect. That gasket, it was so close, but it was incorrect. Uh, my nephew did find one, and hopefully they have it in their store. But I had him bring all the other gaskets back just to make sure. But yeah, um, he's coming back soon, so should be able to get this done. If they don't have that one, uh, I will reuse what I have if I have to. I do have some gasket makers, so I'll dab a little bit on there if I need to. But yeah, some exciting stuff, fellas, guys, gals, anybody that's watching. Honda Odyssey valve cover replacement. Well, not valve cover, valve cover gasket replacement. But this thing is nasty. I can't wait to get it off here and actually clean up this stuff. Dang, bro. That's so gross. I, I did start using synthetic oil, so I wonder if that had something to do with cleaning up the deposits on there. It just kind of all settled up here. Uh, I'm going to hit it with some stuff, clean her up. But we'll catch up with you guys in a bit once we get a little bit farther actually into this. Because I wanted, I didn't want to go any farther until I verified uh, we had the right gaskets. Alrighty guys, uh, a little farther into it. Finally, we got the right gaskets. Most of them were right. There was this one that was wrong, right? It was very close, but there's a slight uh, letter. What is this? What is this motor here? It's a J35. Hold up. J35. J35A7. And then there's a J35A6. So, yeah, so they're very close. But yeah, I got this taped off. It's super nasty. The valve cover is the next part. I think this is gonna be a problem. Not big problem. I'm gonna have to find a way to hold the wiring harnesses out of the way. But yeah, I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. I wanna thank TC Garage for coming through and uh, hooking me up from O'Reilly's with all the parts that I need for this. So yeah, big shout out to him. Check out TC Garage YouTube channel too. But we'll see what you guys in just a little bit. Alrighty guys, a little update, got that one off. Doesn't look the worst, I mean I wish it was a little cleaner, but you know, for 2007, with a, I think it's got 189,000 miles on it now, something like that. But look at this thing. Damn! That nasty. There's some serious buildup on there. But look how easy it's coming off though. So yeah, gonna get that cleaned up too. I'm going to work on getting the back one off and, yeah, continue on with this project. I want to thank you guys for watching. This is the normal LD mode of stuff, but this is life. Got to get the van going, especially when it's your own vehicle. <laughs> All righty, guys. Here we are. We finally got them off. I'm um, going to let you know, if you have to do this to your car, this right here is a big old pain in the butt. That was the biggest part. And then the valve cover, the paint was coming off and it started chipping off and in, inside there. So I had to clean that out. But that's the worst part so far. Knock on wood. But right now, uh, TC Garage is out there cleaning up my valve covers for me. And uh, we're going to get those prepped up and ready to go back on here. The back one is the one that was leaking, which was the worst one of them all to get off. And they're a little bit different. I don't know a whole lot about the J-Series but that's a little bit different than this side. It's a lot cleaner looking too. But this is the one that was leaking the worst. It was like coming from around in here, so. But yeah, well, we're gonna finish cleaning them up. Uh, and yeah, we're gonna get on to this. Probably should do an oil change after this is all said and done. Who knows what else fell in there. Got this covered up, thank goodness. But yeah, we'll see you in a bit. Yeah, I believe in this thing's previous life. Uh, somebody, really lacked oil changes on it because this thing is disgusting but yeah Trevor and uh, Trenton and I are really trying you know just to get it manageable again but look at that oh man I wish I had a parts washer this is after a bunch of brake parts cleaner degreaser this and that scrubbing it's still just so sludgy but yeah we're going to keep on this. It's probably going to be a little bit of a late night to get her done. And yeah, tomorrow's Christmas, so 
yeah let's keep on this thing alrighty guys quite a while later and my uh, savior came over again Trevor to help me out because I was having a lot of trouble with the little things here and there and I just need an extra set of hands um, yeah it's almost there and yeah it's a lot of little clips and the gaskets are on everything is torqued down so far we got to get the intake on the plentum uh the new gasket for this got to get that on there clean that up and shouldn't be too much longer and yeah thank you guys for watching ld motor garage day and getting the honda odyssey kind of straightened up a little bit but we'll catch up with you guys in just a little bit quite a little bit more to do not too too bad but just a little bit Alrighty, guys trevor's got everything torqued down he's just rehooking up the battery and we're gonna give it a shot make sure there's no leaks um yeah <laughs> this is gonna be awesome all righty fire in a hole i gotta get my little flashlight where'd it go here we go So far, so good. Check engine light or anything? Awesome. Cool. I don't see anything new yet. I mean, there's a spot down there, but that's probably from... I mean, there's part of the paint from the valve cover. That's cool. I don't see any seeping yet. Okay, the video's not over. A little more on the van because we didn't see this happening. We read it, let it run for a little while after we got everything put back on it. No leaks or anything, but I walked over and looked at the dash to check the temperature. And the battery light came on. I'm like, what the heck? So we t did a few things, tested some stuff and got a, a multimeter to test the voltage or the output of the alternator and no go so yeah what a unfortunate event when i was just trying to replace the uh the valve cover gaskets and this happens um yeah especially with your only vehicle but luckily we have family that helped us out but this thing was a nightmare that thing was a pain in the butt the valve covers were a pain in the butt this one wasn't the worst but that one was and that's all good no leaks anymore but it's like a jigsaw puzzle to do anything with this thing. You had to finagle it through here and this and that. Move a bunch of stuff out of the way. But yeah, I'm getting the new one here in just a little bit. And I'll get it slapped back in there, test it, and make sure she's good. What I think actually happened, guys, was there was some bad connection on here. Some corrosion. And it had a little bit of oil seepage from the, uh, the valve cover. And it just, it just happened to be right after we did something that this went down but anyways again i thank you guys for watching ld motor garage and uh we'll see you guys next time